of food. The five second rule is now the three second rule. So everybody has to be a little quicker on that. <laughs> cricket sounds. You're supposed to do cricket sounds. <laughs> Inside jokes. Yeah. All right. Um, after we've already done that, skipping ahead. My name is Clayton Jesse. I'm Luke's other life partner, the middle brother. I know what you're thinking, but just because I'm shorter doesn't mean I'm younger. All right. I prepared some life here, so I'm reading. It. Uh, this is unfortunate doesn't mean I'm younger. I have to shop the entire get up from the child's husky section every one of sorry. <laughs> you might say I've been going a little heavy on the chips and salsa before my fajitas got there. You guys look at me. <laughs> I'm not completely sure it was a great call given your diagnosis of my narcissistic and sociopathic tendencies to dub me as the best man. I know that shit goes straight to my head. <laughs> but I am extremely honored to be standing here with you. My, bo my motto has always been to find yourself someone who looks cute, even when they're disappointed in your terrible jokes. And they're half cake. <laughs> hey, everybody. We made the journey all the way from Virginia for the free beer. For the free Look at Jessica. She's always had a great drink for it. Am I right? Luke and Jessica. <laughs> Luke, you picked a good one. It's all right. It's going to go on for a little bit. I got a few pages here. They gave me an hour. Uh, Luke picked a good one. He looks stunning tonight. He's always been part of the family, but now, by law, I'm your brother. And you're right. Jessica Jesse does sound like a little like you're reporting the weather. Jessica Jesse here. But I couldn't be happy. Could be happier that you're marrying my brother. Genuinely. That's my family. I got my older brother here. This guy I know. Old brother always has the highest IQ. And it's an eternally spunky wife, the maid of honor, Michelle. We know them as the unshockable whale on the show. Nobody calls him. My mother and her cool dance moves. Over there. And her sweet mother, my grandma Campbell. And her old man wife, Jesse, in the back. <laughs> we made the journey today. His sister Peg and her friend Lori. Peg, Lori. Can they take off? <laughs> yes. It's great to see so many of you. Uh, our fellow Shelbyvillians, Illinoisans. It's been so long since I've seen so many of you, genuinely. Thank you for everyone for making the trek to Norfolk Lake, mom's hometown of Mountain Home, Arkansas. Fornication. For an occasion. And thank you to everyone genuinely who put in the effort into making this happen with this great view, this bomb ass food. For sure. And all these great people come together to celebrate with Luke and Jessica. For me, it's not only about this 20 minute ceremony. We got to spend this whole weekend together. That's what's about for me. Uh, even with the one imposter among us, you know who you are. <laughs> I've had a great time. We still have a whole another day. Oh, it's still going. Don't it? <laughs> I've known Luke. I've known Luke his whole life. We met in the '80s, and I've always been five years older than him. The advice given to me for a best man speech, which should be a toast, not a roast. So I'm not going to talk about whoops, first time drinking, go for every stage of drunk for three dozen minutes, or the weird bump on the back of head. Is that so <laughs> Or how are you used to get poison ivy so bad he looked like. He still does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk about special teams in football. Woo! 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 This sharp, witty, sharp, witty, stubborn. Which from in the family. <laughs> Kind-hearted, genuine version of Luke you see you, you see before you today is exactly how I've always known. We shared a, a lot of adventures together, from the Kaskaskia River in Shelbyville to the Nile in Egypt. 
From our bottle rocket wars to fateful nights stumbling upon an Amish rum springer, Luke had his first fist fight. <laughs> from our wars in Euchre, from our wars in Euchre, darts and poker, to tra traveling back and forth to real ones. Throughout that and the multitude of shenanigans in between, we've rarely shared harsh words. We've always had a relationship where we could ask each other anything. Like, why are there 1,600 varieties of apples with only one kind of apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, but it's not really the same thing. <laughs> right. In recent years, we've had a lot of miles between us, but we always pick up the phone when the other is calling. It still feel, feels weird that my little bro is getting married. It's strange when, the, when you're the same age as old people. <laughs> I thought this part is cliche to us. My sincerest congratulations to the bride and groom. Now, when you look into each other's eyes, Statistically, you're now looking into the eyes of the person most likely to murder you. <laughs> I know you're always character. I'm just kidding. I'm, I know. I know you'll always take care of each other. It's the journey, not the destination. None of us know what, what we're doing, but remember, your future self is watching you right now through memories. Cultivate the life you want. If everyone could find the closest drink and raise your glasses, Remember the compliments, forget the insults. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts, and don't put up with those that are reckless with yours. To two of the greatest hearts I know, I hope to be giving a similar speech at your 50th wedding anniversary in 2071. Yeah. Quick to laugh, easy to love. To my brother, the groom, and his beautiful bride, to Luke and Jessica. Cheers. Yeah. You got yeah. That's awesome. I have a wish. Oh.